and uh, today, I'm sorry if I say uh a lot, or um, this is my first video tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make um, the fail proof wood grain tumblers. Uh, I posted a picture of my cup in a few of the craft groups that I'm in and you guys loved it and really wanted a tutorial. Come on! And so I'm gonna try to do that for you today. This is my first tutorial, my first video ever actually. So um, here goes. I have a little helper in my bag here and I have two littles that are here home from school today. So. Um, yeah, hopefully they don't interrupt too much, but they probably will, so you'll have to excuse that. Okay, so um, for the sake of the video's time, I went ahead and prepped my cup uh, with a few steps that I'll go ahead and explain to you now, but I'm going to give you a supply list first. So first you need a tumbler, uh, whichever size you want. These are the small. They're all those are trail because that's all I have right now. Um, here's an, a small. Here's a 20 ounce and then the 30 ounce um, and 30 ounce is what I'm going to be working on today there's one of them okay so you need your tumbler you need white spray paint I use uh, Krylon Color Master Paint Plus Primer because I don't know if I need it really to focus but um, because I only have to, I don't have to prime it, it's like a really good thick coat and I put like three or four coats on my cup. This is flat white and I got this at Walmart, it was like four dollars. Next you'll need um, your Tim Holtz alcohol inks. Um, this is the color, come on, teak wood and I got this at Joann's. And like a three pack of colors for like six dollars they were on sale. Next you'll need a three quarter inch angled brush. I just got this at Walmart. It was in a pack of like five brushes and I think it was four dollars. Um, you'll need some rubbing alcohol. Mine's 91% rubbing alcohol and I just have it like in a little baby food jar. Uh, I also use a piece of paper because if I dip it and I get too much alcohol, I just brush it on the paper to wipe off the excess. Excess? Excess. Excess? Yeah, excess. <laughs> okay, now here's the trick to the fail proof um, wood grain is vinyl! Okay, so we work with vinyl all the time. I don't know why no one has thought of this before, but I felt like a genius when I the light bulb went off and I figured it out. So, I just found this Google on image. Uh, Google, or I found this image on Google. Um, I just searched wood grain clip art and there are several on there. I like this one the most and I cut it out in brown vinyl. I tried it in white. It did not look good. I've not tried it in black yet, um, but I think, uh, I mean, I've used the brown and I like the brown, so that's what I'm going to continue to use. Um, also something I just did, um, just now was I cut out like the inside of a tree and I put that on the bottom. See, it's gonna look really super cool when I finish adding my dye to it. So like I said, for the sake of the time of the video, I went ahead and made a few steps. So I painted my cup. Um, I think I put three layers of paint on it. I sprayed the bottom. You know, I set it on the ground and, sh and then turn sh until it's all the way done. I spray the bottom of it. I let it all dry. I do that like three or four times just to make sure I get a good even surface cover. Um, and then I went ahead and took my ink and I made lines, you'll see in a minute when I continue. I just made a line, squeezed a line on and then brushed it. Like I just haphazardly apply a coat to the bottom. I don't know if you need to do this, I'll probably experiment later on, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it the exact same way that I did this one, which was my first vinyl um, no. one. Wait, let me see that please. Let's throw that away. My no, those, those were mine. Can you throw them away? If you're good, I'll give you peppermint later. No, don't want a peppermint. Come here. Fine, you won't you won't get any dessert. Yeah. Okay, so that's my three year old. Don't mind him. This is why my business is called Mommy's a Crafter because you guys just have to put up with this kind of things. So here's the tumbler I posted pictures of in the group. 
Um, it turned out so good, you guys. Like, it looks even better in person. I don't, can't say to how it might look on this video, but um, it turned out so good. You guys all loved it. And I think I've got like 600 likes as of right now on my photos. And so many people asking for a tutorial. This is on the 30 ounce. It just looks so amazing. Someone said it looks like it's wood burned, and it really does. It looks beautiful. And I'm expecting some more inks to come in the mail soon, so um, I'll be able to try some different shades of brown and stuff and um, see what all I can work out. So, what I've done so far is I went ahead and applied some of my vinyl here. I just pull it off and apply it one by one by hand. Um, for the knots here, I just use where'd it go? Where'd it go? Just a small piece of transfer tape. What? Yeah, I it. Yeah, that one's done. You can touch it. I just use a small piece of transfer tape just so I can take the whole knot at once, and it doesn't cause issues. Um, so as you can see, also I've cut it in several different sizes. What, Carter? Can you go see what he needs? Oh, Yeah, can you go see what Carter needs really quick? I cut them in different sizes, and you, as you can see, it's the same exact pattern. This is what I'm using today. So I cut mine the same length as what the cup is. So this one's like seven and a half inches. So I cut it at like 7.4 um, inches. So that way I just have a little bit of room on either side because I don't want to go over the edge of the cup and have to cut them off. So I went ahead and applied like half my vinyl. Also, I like to do different sizes. That way I can do different like size wood knots on... You know in different spots if I want to I'm gonna actually use this one for this little cup um, later but I might use a couple of the knots out of it for this cup here so let's get going um, see here I just pull them off one by one and start sticking them on I just run my finger down it kind of does what it's gonna do and Turns out pretty good. There's really no way to go wrong with this because you can peel them off in a different order. You can use different sizes. You could put just a crap load of knots on it. You could put no knots at all. That's why I love it. And there's really like no way you could go wrong with this. That's, that's why I'm calling it my fail proof. Fail proof um, wood knot or wood grain method because thank it. you cannot go wrong like you just can't there's no special technique you have to know and they're fighting I have five boys by the way so this is my life fighting and farts okay. what are you guys fighting about? It seems like you all are fighting. We were not fighting. Okay, Carter. Look at me. Calm down. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Mom will be down in a minute. Can you calm down? Just I just took my knot. I would not. I'm just putting it on. Mom! Right, please calm I down. want the rest of Luke's candy. You don't need the rest of Luke's candy. Yeah, but I need candy. I kind of overlapped that one, so. Mom, so take this one more. Carter, you don't need any candy, buddy. You don't need his candy because he hit you.
Hey! So it's been like three days since I first tried to make my tutorial and <clears throat> I have five kids like I said before so like things never work out how I want them to. Part of my man voice, it's like seven in the morning and um, I woke up early to try to get the tutorial finished before all my kids wake up and I have to start getting everyone ready for school. Um, so, we have to listen to the man voice. <laughs> I haven't even had any coffee. <laughs> oh, I turned the Keurig on and then I was like, oh my gosh, if I try to make coffee, everyone's going to wake up. Then I'm going to be like making breakfast and getting everyone dressed. Okay. Whew. So, something happened since I last um, was on here and my other three inks came. I got latte, ginger, and caramel. Um, and I ordered these on Amazon, if it wants to focus, it doesn't want to. I ordered these on Amazon, and they took like forever to come. Gosh, why aren't you going to work? So annoying, there we go. So latte, ginger, and caramel, and here's how they compare to the teak wood. So there's like some awesome earthy tones going on here and I'm really excited to do something with these other three either in combination or by themselves. So um, we're going to continue with the teak wood only so we're going to get rid of those and um, we're going to try to get this cup finished up so I can get this tutorial posted because you guys are all like dying without it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so excited that everyone's super excited for the tutorial. Okay, so I've got a couple of little weird places here, so I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do. I want to put this guy like up here, I think. I've already, a couple of kids are already awake, so we're just going to like roll with the punches and do what we can. So let's start getting these on. And I'm not going to really use these. I'm going to have to go down to these, to this size because um, those aren't going to fit. That's going to be too tiny. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use these and then I'll just cut them. Hey Carter, do you know where mommy's scissors are? Are there any scissors in the kitchen? Hmm, do you know? Um, at the market stuff, let me... Oh, you'll go check? Yeah. Great, thank you. Okay. Don't that story. Oh, right. That's fine. Yeah. Building with them. So, oh, ow! Yay. I'm going to have to get Katie and I'm going to give me some. I almost done. Almost done, almost done. Mom. I kind of want this to go the other way. What's going on? Mom, it only moms and daddies are allowed to do that. Do what? What, I, what mommy's doing? Yeah. Yeah, only mommies and daddies are allowed to make cups. Because what but happens? What happens if you touch the stuff? Remember the stuff that mommy makes? What happens? It will burn your skin. So kids cannot touch. Only mommies and daddies. Well, everything and daddies can take that board what you were doing. Oh, I don't know what? I kind of want to put another knot, another one knot on here. I think I'll do that one. You Let's see. Give me some transfer tape. Are you on the tape, Yeah. Ooh, yay. 
ouch. How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. I'm very sorry. Ben. 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 Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. My mom hey, can you go ask Kagan to get me some scissors? Oh, they're mine. I really need some. What? Let's see if mommy can find some. Is that red? Not sure. <laughs> Not a deal. Oh, but here's some. No, no. What? I'm going to use these. Yeah, that was a very bad choice, Carter. Very bad. No. Just leave it all alone. I will take care of it. That's okay. I'm busy right now. So I'll do it in a minute. I just... That's a cool cup. Thank you. You love it? Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. It looks I like just hope Carter does not go upstairs. I know, look at this one. It looks like wood too. I know, super cool. And it feels soft. It feels super cool, doesn't it? Yep. I don't know if I like that right there where it is, but... Come on. Just a few more pieces. Yeah, let's do one right here. There we go. And yeah, let's oh, get one so. of these little ones. Mom, this could be even better. Even better than last time you saw it? Yep. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if I like that, but oh well. Looks good. That's what we got. Thanks. Oh. I don't know if I like this uh, open spot here. I'm trying to think of what I can do. I guess keep, I could just cut some of these. You're keeping the eye on Jack? Yes. Why don't you put cameras in all the rooms? Oh, that would be a good idea, but... A good idea. Just, well, just a baby camera works for now. Because I just need to keep an eye on Jack. You need to keep an eye on everyone else too. So, like, Carter doesn't go upstairs. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go watch TV now. Okay, I love you. Alright, folks. I think we're almost done. I just had to find something to. I took my little, I don't know what you call, thing off, because I didn't like the way it looked. So that's the great thing. You can just change it, switch it up, do it however you want to. Okay. I don't like that. And I don't like this one. So I'm just going to pull them off. Okay. Here we are. With our almost finished cup. Let's move all these stencils to the side. And here it is. Looking all crazy. I'm going to cut piece of this off. Okay, what time is it? Okay, getting close. 
close on time. All right, so here we go. Just going to take my teak wood. And here is where I'm just going to start doing it all crazy. Now, my camera is saying that the battery is running low. Of course, it would say that. So, I'm going to try to make this quick. I'm just following along, like, the lines of the vinyl. Brush over the top of your vinyl. Brush in between. You're going to want to touch your whole cup with your paintbrush. See how I'm just doing like crazy lines here? And then just move it along the lines of your stencil. You want to be heavy handed, light handed. Switch it up because it'll give you like a cool different kind of effect. I'm going to try my hardest to get done before the battery dies. And I forgot to put my gloves on, so now I'm getting brown all over my hand. See, I even like these, like, super dark spots. That come in it. I like to do the knots pretty dark, too. Better not over here. Let's make the inside kind of dark. I don't try to be sparing at all with my um, ink because really it's not that expensive. And you'll be able to do a lot of cups for how much you get in the bottle. So, and then the profit you make per cup, depending on what you sell them for, you're going to come out ahead still. So, I like to use more ink and have a better looking product than to try to be like super sparing and skimpy. See how we're kind of getting a different color throughout. Almost done. We're back here to the back. Come on. Went a little too crazy on that one. I'm going to regret not wearing gloves later. My hands are all brown. Almost done. Okay, now we're just gonna go. 
See, I got like a pretty dark spot there. So, what I want to do quickly is to just get the tiniest bit of alcohol. And, sorry that was my alarm. It's almost time to get everyone up. Okay, tiniest bit of alcohol and it will just like totally liquefy everything back up. So, you can move it. It'll be super easy to work with. Um, let's do the bottom real quick and then we'll be done and we'll still have camera battery. Um, see what I did here on the bottom? I made it like the inside of a tree. <laughs> so I kind of want this to be kind of circular. So I'm going to work this in circles. So I get those brush strokes, you know. And I think I love it. I'm going to touch up the bottoms, bottom here. Just where it's, you know, gotten a little crazy. No, I got too much, too much alcohol. Okay, make sure my top looks good. I really hope you guys love this tutorial. Um, I guess if you guys like it, I'll think about making other tutorials. And I'll probably get better as we go. So, um, if there's another kind of tutorial that you guys would like to see, I guess just shoot a comment down below. Um, and I'll see what I can do. This one's almost done. Just, just work it. And, I mean, if you want darker spots, lighter spots, I'm not going to touch the bottom because... Oh, let's move that light over here. Come on. I hate when my camera does not want to cooperate. There we go, that work. There we go. Here it is, looking pretty awesome. And here's the bottom. I guess I could have made that a little bit bigger, but it still looks pretty cool. Alright, there it is. Fail proof. Wood grain tumbler. Hope you guys loved it. Let me know.